Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment, would you capture it? Let it slip. Yo. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking how? Everybody's choking now. The clock's run out. Time's up. How the fuck he got an Oscar? Passed out in his red Mazda with his fucking head in his pasta in the parking lot of Kmart Plaza. Across from the Red Lobster, looking like the Loch Ness Monster, dressed like a cross-dressed mobster. Talk is cheap, it costs less to gossip. I'd probably be a lot less hostile if you snots kept your snozzers out the air holes or get fucked in all seven holes. Ass, mouth, pussy, yeah, both ears, and ha, yes, nostrils. At the Oz Fest with Nas, bumping dots effects and erect up dots and then drop two extra strength watts and bike it in out my pocket. They cost less, I'm a hot mess cause I tripped and got my head stuck in a wasp nest in the process, awesome. Drunk as fuck, one sock pulling my boxes up with boxing gloves, but I keep dropping my fucking binoculars. Got two fucking hydroxy cuts and four oxy stuck in my esophagus. These three lesbian little stocky sluts thought I swallowed two hockey pucks. Started screaming, Serge, you right, you cocky fuck. That's what you get for mocking us. Ain't as cool as you thought you was. Bitch, all I did when I walked up was have my dick in a sock, said it's a sock puppet, so no strings attached. You can all suck it, chicka, get it? Oh, fuck it. Shit's about to get hairy as motherfucking Chewbacca's nuts, cocksuckers. When I came out, I think maybe I gave people a voice, like, I don't know, maybe from the other side, like I represented the other side of the tracks. Mm -hmm. Like, here's this world, you know, that you may not know about. And the people who lived in that world and, and knew what I was talking about, I think I gave them a voice. I used to rap and I used to play around with it and then I went to this club and I wasn't a rapper at the time, but I, I kind of knew how to rhyme. And I went to a club in, um, called the Carolina West and they had a rap contest, and Curtis Blow was the judge. And uh, I went up and said the little rhymes I had in my head, you know, and I won. And the fact that a real rapper said I won, I, I, I went home that night like, well, maybe I could do this. The first time I grabbed a mic, like, though, like, in front of actual people that mattered, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. at, a, at a club, I got booed. I remember that. It was very traumatic for me. And I had actually, I think I had, at that point, like the eight mile thing was kind of, that's right, what right, I was right. yes, taking from or whatever. So I just remember that being so fucking traumatic. And I think I went home like, man, I'm, I'm, I quit. Right. And then, you know, maybe a couple days later, a week later, hour later, <laughs> whatever it was, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I got the urge to like, no, nah, man, I gotta, I gotta get up, gotta do it again. That's right, thank God. You really gotta live it. My mind, 24-7, aside from family stuff, obviously, is, mm -hmm. is, is uh, constantly thinking of ways to bend words. Or, you know, I may, like, if I don't got paper, I'll write it on my hand or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I fill up the hand, then I'll transfer it to paper. Do they tumble out of your head complicated? Because you write complicated rhymes. Oh, I wake up in the morning and they just tumble, they just fall out. No, yeah. Kidding. So they <laughs> do they come complicated or do you complicate them? Um... Sometimes, what I love about rap is that it feels like it's puzzles to mm. me. Like words are like puzzles and trying to figure out a puzzle and trying to figure out what word could go here and how many words can I make. Like if I can take a rhyme, like I'm real into the craft, like just of the, the, you know, emceeing and, and, and I feel like, like I always think like how can I take a, how can I figure this puzzle out? Like how can I take words and, and put them at the end of the sentence, but in between, maybe make some words rhyme in between that, that rhyme and like sandwich them, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, so sandwich those words and try to make them, make them rhyme inside of the phrase and then come back outside and try to, you know, try to rhyme with the word that I ended on the snare. You know, like I just like, I'm just, I'm kind of real into the, the technical part of, of it. I studied everybody, man. I, I studied you, I studied uh, fucking KRS, I studied, Tretch, naughty by nature. I, I, well, Tretch, Tretch is difficult to rap like, because Tretch is like, his shit is really complicated. 
You know, I just heard a new record with Tretch. I can click, clack, pat, tat. Wait, what was he saying? <laughs> I can click, clack, snap, rap, pat, tat, a tat, tat. Take that ass to the point you have to ask for your ass back. The fucking joker smoker, taunted by no one. If I was born in Shung Lee's temple, I would have turned out a shogun. That song, <laughs> Yoke the Joker, when right. that shit came out, I swear to God, I was, I was in my, my peak at rap. And what I mean is, right. like, when I realized this is what I want to do with right, my life. Right, right, right. And Proof came over. Right. He brought the fucking tape. Right. And my world ended. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my God, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, I, it, put, it literally, I didn't write a rap for the whole summer. Right, right. I didn't write a rap for the Fucking whole summer. Fucking around with like, trash. Yo, that dude was, I mean, he, he's still incredible. Final thoughts on the art of rap, which you are one of the grandmasters at now. Mm, final thoughts. Shit, I don't know. I mean, I certainly feel like if it wasn't for rap, like, obviously I wouldn't be here, but it gave me, it gave me a voice, it gave me an outlet, it gave me a, it gave me strength, fuck man, you know, what I just came back from, you know? Overdose and the whole shit, you know? Like, it, without rap, I wouldn't have been able to, to, to get through it. I mean, obviously without my daughters, I wouldn't have been able to get through the fucking thing, but when you hit that wall, like, how quick can you bounce back, you know? Um, and if it wasn't for rap, I wouldn't have been able to bounce back. You know, this is the one thing that, this is the one thing that I feel like I have that, you know, I can do well. So if I didn't have this, I don't know what, I really can't do fucking thing else, you know, <laughs> except for play basketball, I'm kind of fucking nasty. <laughs> but uh, like rap is just, you know, it's, it's, it's everything to me. Like it's, this is, this is, this is my world. This is, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I do. Like. If somebody said Royce 5'9", what, what do they, what, what do they expect? Well, I'm gonna be rapping my ass off. A I nigga that raps his ass yeah, off. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be rapping my ass off. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to be probably talking to the girls a lot. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm really like a competitive MC with my peers. I'm a heavyweight. I'm catastrophic when I set it like Fahrenheit 9-11, meditate till the levees break. I turn feather feather weights until my fetty straight. The Mac 11 to clap your melon and give your ass spaghetti face. Uh, you ever looked inside some dying eyes? You'll see surprise and realize there's no denying God. When was the last time that you heard that the iron tried? Ryan vibes like cyanide. I am proud to say that I've evolved as only one iron defying odd. Small time arrogance perishes every time the giant pride. Who y'all respect is probably cross-dressing. Your favorite MC could probably find itself vibing to my lost sessions. I'm legendary. Oh, there you go. Jeez, Taz was just, was just a play record. Records. What more could you ask? But then came remixes, remixes scratching and cuts, which was too much for many. Drove, Drove some DJs, DJs nuts, but the, the DJ named Glove is brain supreme doom, on doom, the, as it went. As a turntable doom, wizard doom, of the hip hop scene. So, so listen to him, check it out. But remember this, when the gloves on the wheels of steel, he's reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have ever thought that one of the greatest rappers of all time would be a white cat?